Thank you, Georgia. Hillsborough County Commissioners are one step closer to renewing the community investment tax. That's a halfpenny sales tax that's been in place since the late 1990s. News Channel East Nicole Rogers joining us live in Tampa with that story tonight. Nicole, there was a lot of attention today on funding the school district. That really was the focus of the majority of the public comment that we did see today. Now, commissioners did end up giving the schools part of that funding, but significantly cut their percentage. The community investment tax has been in place since 1996. Since then, the tax has provided $2.3 billion. That's helped fund hundreds of capital improvement projects across Hillsborough County, but it's set to expire in 2026. That brings your next question. Are you going to include schools or are you not going to include schools? The question most of public comments surrounded. In a 5-2 to two vote, county commissioners decided to continue giving the school district part of that funding, but they cut it from 25% to 5. 10% would have still been a gain for them and, it's, and it would have adequately supplied the funds we needed for our schools and they failed to do that and it, and it hurts our citizens and it hurts our families. For Commissioner Michael Owen, that 5% was a compromise as he wanted to cut the school district out of the tax altogether after the school board passed its millage referendum last night. If I knew the solution to the to the school's woes was to continue to throw money at them, you know, I would do it. Uh, but just the track record, it doesn't show that for me. Superintendent Van Ayers pointed to the county's need for housing, saying if commissioners approve new builds, they should expect more kids and more children means more schools. With new construction come the needs for new schools, so that was our ask for the community investment tax to be included is these are these are bills that, that this county commission approves. Um, so some sort of funding that comes back to us for new school uh, construction is important. Now, county commissioners will meet again in two weeks for a final hearing on that tax. Now, coming up at 6, why some commissioners think voters could perceive this as the school district double dipping and how the superintendent plans to combat that. Live at Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.